So we are here with this couch. You are Stephen Armour Queen. Thank you for color coordinating with the, uh, the couch. I try to pregame. That's good. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about when you first decided you wanted to become an actor? Uh, let's see. I, I started getting homeschooled, and um, I watched a bunch of movies, and um, you know, then it started to become more relevant to, uh, to me that you know the impact that my grandfather made on this. Mm -hmm. on, on the film world, and uh, and I started watching his movies and appreciating them, and said, you know what, I want to give this a try, and um, ever since it's been a blast. Get to work with great people and great directors, such as Josh Butler, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and you know, I uh, I don't know, it's 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 been a journey and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, now you've done Everwood, you've been uh, on Vampire Diaries, obviously, for this is your fourth season. Yeah. And you've also done a number of movies. What have you taken from each project that you've worked on? Um, you know, from each project you learn something new. Um, Vampire Diaries, have been there for four years, so you know, I feel like I've learned the most there. And, um, you know, I'm just excited for that next thing. And um, in terms of the different genres that you've worked in. Have you found one to be more difficult than the other? Have you found that you liked one more than the other? Uh, no, it's all different. You know, I haven't done that much comedy. Um, I like making people laugh. It's gonna, that was my, you led uh, me right into my next question. Why has somebody not cast you in something <laughs> as a comedy? What is it about you that you get these dramatic roles when in real life you are probably one of the funniest people out there? Uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, I don't know, you know, I, uh, I'm open-minded to working on anything. I always doing I enjoy doing dramatic roles, um, but I, I definitely would love to, you know, take a chance at a comedy. Would you do something that you uh, would loosely base on yourself in terms of uh, you personally, or like a character that you would create, not necessarily about yourself per se, but in something that you had in mind in a comedy genre because you just you just come out with these not even outrageous in terms of content but you're just funny all the time um i i don't know you got any ideas uh, I, 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 are you saying that i'm a comedy i, I do <laughs> i feel like you're very, i like i don't think i've ever seen you not be funny um, in the amount of times that i've seen you you're never not funny i would say uh if there if there was the right script that came along sure what about something like Saturday Night Live, though? Do you feel like you yes, could do something like that? Yes, I would like love that? to do Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, I think I think that would be I think it would be fun because it's live and there's the audience. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get that like, you know, instant gratification. Um, I don't know. <sighs> now, obviously, your character was famously just killed off for the millionth time of the Vampire Diaries. Yes. What? Um, what advice would you give to an actor who's just starting out? They've been on a show for four years, and you know their time has come where they may have to move on to a new job. Do you um, obviously you can't take it to heart? It's just the nature of the business. What do you? What advice would you give to somebody in that respect, in terms of losing a job or or moving on to a different career path? Um, you know, I've. Uh... Uh, you know, I've thought about that a lot, and that's something I'm gonna definitely talk about up on stage. Uh, and you know, it's 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 definitely a hard experience. You know, when you work at a certain place for a certain amount of time, it, they become like family. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and you just kind of have to roll with the punches and and kind of be open to what happens next. And when you were starting out as an actor, uh, I know you were thrown into this show. Yeah. Um, that became a cult phenomenon. <laughs> um, but you were also extremely well loved by the fans of the show. Yeah. Did you ever think in your wildest dreams that you would become as popular as you are now? And um, do you feel that your your personality is obviously suited for it? So, also, what advice would you give to somebody who would be thrown into this situation as you were? Do you have to have a certain personality for it? For it, I think to to act, you have to have a passion for it. It mm -hmm. has to be something you enjoy doing that that you can 
be able to be comfortable feeling around people. Um, and um, it, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people, you know, make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. I think, you know, there's the character study and all that, but at the end of the day, you're having fun playing make believe. Mm -hmm. and you you have to be willing just to kind of surrender and let stuff happen in the moment and, and see what happens next. You've been around performers for your whole life. Your mother is a is a singer who was, you know, very popular in the '90s and stuff. And your grandfather obviously was performer. Did you, um, growing up, did they influence you at all into wanting to perform? Your brother Jezre is now a singer. You went the acting route. Did did any did any of that influence you, or did you come across it naturally on your own and decide this is what you really wanted to do? You know, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, and I, I gave it a try. I took some classes, and you know I really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously, you know, my grandfather inspired me a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, but um, yeah, it wasn't until I started taking classes and and just started really enjoying it that I, I was like, all right, this is what I want to do. This is this is what I want to do. And you were you. Um were on and may possibly still be on a very high rated show um, and you're very popular and you also have your head on straight what um, does it take for you to keep doing that like you're, you're a role model to actors who who are in that um, category of being on a very high rated show you're getting all this attention thrown at you all the time and you're in the public eye all the time but you're not one of those people that you read about constantly partying and going out and you know having a bad public image. And then when you come to events like this, you're extremely popular at them. You're very down to earth with everyone. You know, what keeps you grounded in that aspect of it? I think it's it's easy for actors to take themselves very seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we play make believe and it's fun. And uh, if, if you do, then I think that's silly. So I, I, I think coming to, you know, events like this, like Icon is, it's so much fun. You get to see the people that watch the show, that enjoy the stories you're telling, and um, and uh, I, I keep on uh, I, I keep on getting a bunch of uh, goodbyes, uh, which you know has been sad at this convention, but it's it's been fun to see everyone. Right, um, but do you think it it takes a certain level of, of maturity and and depth as a person to handle things the way you handle things? <laughs> I, uh, maturity up to sure, a point. Sure, yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, what do you do in your downtime? I know you like to play video games, but is there a certain thing that you're passionate about that really gets you? Yeah, I, I kickbox. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, I'm taking up playing hockey again. The Kings just won the cup, so um, trying to keep that going. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I, play, I had my, uh, hung out with my little brother this week. Mm -hmm. and, Played video games and worked out together, and uh, and, and just kind of enjoying life at this point. Cool. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time to do this. We wish you nothing but success in the future, which obviously has already come to you, and it's going to keep coming to you because you have a positive attitude, and Thank you. you're one of the I most talented that. younger actors out there. So uh, we look forward to seeing everything that comes your way. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy.